Hello, I'm Black Bright. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please like, subscribe and share. And if you've already subscribed, thank you and thank you for your support. Um, I just wanted to do a brief video today. Um, just listen to the news, um, I think about six hours ago, and learnt that the five that the um, Home Office has made five hundred million pounds profit on immigration fees. I mean, it really isn't. It isn't fair, is it? Six hundred and forty pounds per application. That's over fifty-one percent they're making for every application that goes through. And the fee, I think, is one thousand um, and twelve pounds per applicant. And the thing is, is that if these people make one mistake, it gets thrown out or they get deported. You know, it, it's not right to take people's money like that and to make such a large profit. You're not a private company. The Home Office is not a private company. It's government run. And yet they would find themselves in a position where they feel comfortable making a 91% profit on immigration fees of people. These are ordinary people. They're not rich. They're not well off. They're struggling. I don't know how they get the money together, but they get the money together. And so, you know, it's not even like they, they pay that money and it's done. It's like they're given limited leave to remain. Um, discretionary leave to remain and every five or ten years they have to find that money again. In some cases it's 30 months depending on the circumstances but can you imagine such a high margin? Anyway I just wanted to alert you that because you know the um, the applicants have been kind of complaining at the high fees and they can't afford it, saying it's so difficult to pay it. And I'm not saying that they shouldn't pay it, but it's just showing you how difficult for it is to pay it and how easy it is for the Home Office to claim such a large amount and benefit from it. It's not right. I mean, I could understand if it was like a 50 quid or 100 quid per applicant making a profit. Even that, that's fair enough, because when you think hundreds of thousands of people apply all the time, so hundreds and thousands and you're getting a hundred pound profit, you're still benefiting. But you're charging uh, six, over six, over 50 percent more than what you should be charging. And I, I don't think that's right. Anyway, I just want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Um, rising fees have a particular impact on children of migrant parents who were born in the UK and who came in as young children and may not know any life in any other country. And, you know, I was talking in another video about those thousands of migrant children. Those are the children of migrant asylums or people who cannot afford um, to pay for their fees, I'd imagine. I don't know. I know they're, they're children of asylum seekers anyway, but they did say something about um, foreign nationals. Um, they must pay £1,012 to become British citizens, a fee that has risen 51% since 2014 and brings a home office a 640 profit for each application. Charges levied on hundreds and thousands of people for British residency and citizenship has risen sharply in the past five years, increases, increasing profits by 91%. That sources the Times. And I mean, they make it, they make that money by creating a hostile environment. It's all part of the same thing, making it difficult, making it challenging putting in obstacles. It's all a part of the same thing and charging them an arm and a leg. Anyway, I did say I'll keep this one short, so that's all for now. Bye.